hi everyone today I'm going to make a robot project in this robot project I'm going to use basic shapes and I'm going to use mouse interaction to move the mouth like this so let's go to the p5 web editor and start with the first shape which is the line the line takes four parameters the origin x and y which is x1 y1 and the end 1 x2 y2 now the line in this case as you can see I want it a vertical line downwards so I want to start it from 200 which is the middle of the screen because it's half of the width and I want it to be appearing at 100 in the y direction and now I have to give I want to keep the X same because I want to increase it in the Y so I'm giving 150 in the Y now let's give it some color to give color to the line we have to use the function stroke in the function stroke within the single quotes we can write the name of the color this is one way of giving the color and for the thickness I'm going to write stroke weight which I'm going to write in camel case particular to JavaScript so now when I run my program I got my line ready so let's make another line now the line should be over this vertical line and should be in the horizontal direction so now it was starting at 200 so if you minus 20 on both uh, on one side and add 20 on the other side we will be able to find the x in this I will keep the y same as the first x uh, y1 and I will increase the x to 220 and I will keep again the y same now when I run the program I got my other line ready now the second shape I'm going to use is the rect or the rectangle it takes four parameters x y width and height now these four parameters let's put them in and see I want the, my rectangle to appear just under this vertical line and should be of some nice proper width and height so let's say it was 100 uh, 200 in the middle so let's say our rectangle should start from 100 and look at the first line the first lines uh, lower y is 150 and we want our rectangle to be attaching to this lower bit so we keep the 150 same and now we will give it the width and the height let's see perfect now I want a mouth which is a rectangle and that rectangle is in uh, more in width than the height so let's start with the rectangle and this rectangle needs to be a little bit inside this rectangle so let's say it's at 150 or say 130 and let's say it's y is 3 or 280 and its width and height is 100 in width and height 
40 see what we will get is a little bit less in width so let's increase the width of it let's make it 150 see yes it's fine but a little bit I think so 125 that would just yes just in size now these are the two ways of making a rectangle if you keep the width and the height same you will get a square if it's different you will get a rectangle like this one now let's make an ellipse for the eyes ellipse also got uh, pa four parameters similar to the rectangle the only thing which is different between the ellipse and the rect is that rect got its origin x and y at the top left hand corner while ellipse got its x and y in the middle so now when we place the ellipse we have to be very careful that how we are placing it so if i think about it that this is the rectangle and this rectangle is at 100 and i want my eyes to be appearing somewhere here so it should be inside it and it should be closer to the 200 so let's try let's think about it let's put 150 and let's say that the rect y was 150 to start with so let's say it's it is on 150 no let's not do 150 let's try 200 and let's give it 50 50 let's try this out where the eye will appear yes good now let's make the pupil inside the eye before proceeding to the next one so this eye is taking a white color right now and i didn't give it any color so let's give this a color so for giving the color to the shapes we write fill and in the fill i'm going to write it's 255 so it gives a white color to it which remains the same now i'm going to copy this ellipse and i will say i want to make a pupil of it so i'm going to say that i'm just reducing the width and the height of it to appear inside and i want this pupil to be of black color so i want it to have a zero which is black now see the whole face is also turned black why because the rex doesn't have their own fills in it so it's very important to give a fill to every thing you made unless all the things you are making you want it to have similar color so in this case the second rack needs to be a little bit grayish now when i click the button all will be okay back to normal now let's copy the whole of this ellipse code and i'm going to make another eye now in this eye the only thing which i'm going to change in both the eye and the eye uh, pupil of the eye is the 150 which is the x so let's change it to 250 so it's at equal position and now when i run it should be the right place yes 
now the next bit is mouse interaction so let's go in the mouth portion here is the mouth and in the mouth portion I just want to replace this 40 which is the Y value of it and replace it with the mouse Y be careful I have just replaced the Y value uh, the height value of the rectangle here with the mouse Y so now when I run the program I have a perfectly nice robot and when I move my mouse up and down again this mouth can be moved in the same way so hopefully you enjoyed making the robot with me for next time bye